It's an immigrant rights march focused on justice, equality, and awareness. We're also seeing counter protesters in downtown Seattle. Only one arrest so far. Police busted a masked man for throwing a rock at one of Amazon's glass spheres. We have several reporters on our top story tonight. We'll check in with Alyssa Hahn in just a moment. We begin with King 5's Chris Daniels, live in Seattle. Chris. Mark, we are at the corner of 4th and Madison in downtown Seattle where this march that started about 3.30 this afternoon is now making the turn, the 19th annual march for immigration and workers' rights. It started up at Judkins Park and uh, several hundred people have been involved in this, making their way down to the Department of Licensing on 2nd Avenue as well as the immigration headquarters that are there. Uh, there has been some cultural uh, exhibitions that we have seen uh, out in front uh, throughout the course of the day. Uh, this has been a march that we have seen year after year be peaceful, people bringing all sorts of opinions to the table, whether it be about immigration, workers' rights, labor rights. We see labor unions represented here. The NAACP has been here. We have also seen protesters of the new youth jail, former Seattle mayoral candidate Nikita Oliver walking with the protesters at one point in time. What we did see earlier that we're not seeing now is those black clad uh, activists, if you want to call them that, that have caused problems in the past on this May Day. They were walking at one point with this group, escorted by Seattle police, but still chanting at Seattle police as they walked. At one point in time, they started running through the crowd. That got the, the march organizers a little concerned at that point, as well as Seattle police, but they backed down after being confronted by the march organizers here. And we are almost now to Second uh, Avenue where Ted Land, our Ted Land is standing by with more. Ted. Hi, Chris, I'm just a few hundred yards for you as the march approaches behind me and makes its way right in front of the Department of Licensing building here in downtown Seattle. This is an opportunity for these marchers to make a very visible point to the state about something that they say was a major violation of their trust. Here's why immigrants groups are targeting the State Department of Licensing. Last year, Governor Jay Inslee pledged to protect Washington's immigrants and refugees from discriminatory enforcement and deportation efforts. The governor signed an executive order saying the state would do all it could to push back against immigration and customs enforcement. Earlier this year, the Seattle Times reported that the Washington Department of Licensing regularly gave people's driver's license info to immigration authorities. That's the kind of info ICE can use to arrest and deport people. There's no other way to protect the workers. There's no uh, way that people can feel comfortable in their job site or feel comfortable in, in contributing to the community if these kinds of activities are just being uh, taken for granted. The revelation angered many immigrants' rights groups and the governor who ordered a halt to the cooperation. The Department of Licensing now requires a court order before the state will hand over personal info to ICE. The organizers of the May Day March for Immigrant and Workers' Rights say they want to hold the state accountable for what happened and point out the damage it caused to other immigrants. Solidarity is really important that we as, as workers, you know, put out a hand to other workers and say, you're safe. And this is where the march will end this evening, just down the street here on this block. They've brought in a stage over there with a microphone. There will be speakers. Of course, there are a lot of police nearby because this is a permitted event. Police are helping redirect traffic around the area, and they were here hours earlier as groups started setting up. Live in downtown Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News. Now back to you guys. All right, Ted, thank you. Now for what Seattle police are doing on this May Day. The department's plan is to protect and allow peaceful demonstrators to march. The department will have officers throughout the city ready to respond to reports of vandalism and assault. Officers plan to keep opposing groups separate and moving along. They mingle, we have fights and we have some violence, and when they don't mingle, we have a lot less of that stuff. So I think that'll be the principle that we follow. All right, so far the biggest casualty of the protests is traffic downtown. Let's go to Stephen Kilbreth for the latest on that. Stephen. 
Well, and here's the good news that there's a lot of people who didn't even come to work in downtown Seattle today or the fact that they left a little bit earlier. There is a lot of traffic impact, though, as you can expect with these uh, marches through downtown Seattle. It is a regular work day, and we're showing you where that march took place down Jackson, and then it turned onto fourth. This purple area is kind of where the marchers are now as they're heading towards uh, a little closer into downtown Seattle. You can see uh, the area, and uh, this is the other streets you can see in downtown Seattle are getting pretty jammed up as you head out to the freeways. Now, the Buses have said that there's not really that many delays yet. They've said that there could be five to ten minute delays, but nothing really specific as the march is pretty well maintained as it's heading down towards spring and then down towards uh, Second Avenue. There was an accident earlier over here that was causing some problems on First Avenue, but nothing to uh, worry about right now. So that March for Workers and Immigrant Rights continues through the downtown streets. And don't forget, there's also a baseball game tonight in Seattle. Mariners versus Oakland right across the street at 710. Beautiful night for baseball, uh, but do expect some of those events uh, the marchers to head up into the Soto neighborhood. They did that last year as well as uh, the evening uh, went on. And I wanted to let you know that the commute elsewhere, like if you're headed from Bellevue to Renton or heading up towards Linwood or Everett, it's actually a little better than we normally see for an afternoon commute. So that's good news. Lori and Mark, back to you guys. Thank you, Stephen. Now about those other protests taking place in Seattle. A number of different groups have turned out today for a look at what they're protesting. Let's go live to King 5's Alyssa Hahn on Pine on the way to Capitol Hill. Alyssa, good evening. Good evening, Mark and Lori. We are uh, marching with the Patriot Group. They're heading up Pine right now up to Capitol Hill in what has been a pretty uh, fairly peaceful protest so far. Let's show you what the group looks like back here. They've had some, uh, they actually have a speaker down here blaring some music. We've heard uh, Born in the USA, Proud to be an American. It's, I've got to say, a very unusual sight uh, to see a protest like this on the streets of Seattle, but it just gives you a demonstration of the different groups, the different voices, and the different points of view that are out here today. They're kind of making this up as you go along. Uh, this is not a permanent march by any stretch. The second one that they've had today, earlier they were in Westlake Park, and we got to see some of the verbal confrontations that went on between them and others who came to challenge them. This guy has the Red Book of Chairman now. Do you know how many people, he killed more people than Hitler and Stalin combined. The Great Leap Forward, the Cultural Revolution. Oh, I'm well aware. Okay, so show your face then if you're so proud of that. No. Because you're a rep. So these confrontations happened earlier when we saw a young guy, his name, he said his name was Jack. He put up a, a Soviet Union flag up in the middle of the Patriot Group. And boy, did that really anger some people. Uh, they ended up, you know, ended, what started to be a pretty heated conversation finally broke down a little bit when some other demonstrators around him said, hey, you know what, he's got a right to be here too. People seem to be willing to accept that. Uh, and so far, you know, besides a few yelling matches that we've seen today, it's been pretty peaceful. But again, just a reminder, the Patriot Group, while they have been associated with some issues in the past, they said they're here to promote peace. They're here to support the police department and, you know, really to support, sort of show a different view as to what we've been seeing uh, with the far left today. So we're now going up to Capitol Hill. We're not quite sure what the destination is. I will tell you, this group is older, so they're not really marching uh, the great lengths that we've seen other groups going. So uh, they lasted about a mile last time before they went back to Westlake Park. Not sure where we're heading to now, but we'll keep you posted on their progress. Back to you. Morning. As you can see, it's been a busy afternoon here in Seattle. Several different protests happening all at once. The El Comite March led by what you're looking at there, the Seattle Tonali Aztec Dance Group. We have crews spread across the city tonight. We'll have continuing coverage in our second half hour, and we'll be right back after this.